Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Elden Ring video. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find uh, the Ash of War Golden Wall. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. So, essentially, according to the Wikipedia, uh, what it does is that it costs 40 FP. Uh, this skill is not chargeable and, and it grants you and your nearby allies a 45 second buff uh, to damage roughly 12% and increases the damage reduction via all by roughly 5%. So it's, it's stated here, not tested. So what I'm going to do within this video is first uh, show you the exact location of this, uh, where, where you can find the knight that you have to kill in order to get it and then we're gonna do a few tests as well alright so let's stop wasting time and jump right into it Alright, so the closest grace for me is the uh, Death Touched Catacombs, and the knight that you need to kill in order to get the skill, the uh, Ashens of War, right? Uh, he's located right here. Uh, can I do the zoom? Yeah, so right here on this cliffside. So what you need to do is you need to just run through this way. If you run through this way, get up here, run, come back, and kill him. So I'm going to show you the entire. Uh, uh, way how to get to him and kill him once again. Also, as I mentioned, I did record the part where he dropped the item, so you'll see that I'm not making this up. <laughs> so we go this way, bypass all of that location, still on the cliffs, and right now we should be seeing the spot where we could go up the cliff. So there we go. Then you just follow uh, the road by the cliff site, right? And there we go, we can see the knight patrolling the area. He's actually patrolling a small amount, so you can ambush him from that bush, or this bush, or if you're OP and you feel that you're all good, you just go and smash him. He actually tried to do the skill just now. So once you kill him, uh, you'll see the glowing thing, you pick it up and you will get that Ashen War. I'll show you that right now. Alright, so I just killed this dude and I see he dropped some. Let's take a look. Haha, -ha, golden wow. Ash, golden wow. Interesting, what the hell that is. Alright, so let's do a little bit of testing. Our uh, testing puppet is going to be that sort of mountain unit over there, right? So right now my claws, which I already also made a video on where to get them. I find them really nice. And uh, they are enhanced well they use war cry right yeah war cry the claws are plus four and my stats are the following so as you can see not the best because I'm uh, actually testing out something with this build I'm putting a lot of uh, points into arcane in order to increase my uh, item discovery which is actually working out pretty good I've been getting a lot of loot so uh, Hopefully this will play a good role when you know, uh, with each time you level up, the more and more souls you need. So right now, according to the Wikipedia that I have opened, the rage gives somewhere above to uh, 5%, so I just damaged by 90. Adios. So now let me go and put on that Ash of War, uh, was it the Golden Vow? Which, according to the Wikipedia, once again, uh, it gives a buff, a damage buff, uh, roughly by 12%. So that's uh, way more than my Rage does. Right? Uh, uh, War Cry, sorry. So it should make me do more damage. But it costs way more. Oh, it goes faith. Now we're gonna go standard. 
Alright, so let's see how that's gonna play out. And the other thing is that this Val not only uh, buffs you, but it also buffs your allies. So, uh, like, I love playing with UZ Clan, so I got some for you. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. It does take a little bit of time for it to take an effect. 174. Seriously. Okay, this definitely looks like, uh... I think we need one more test with the Giants. Man, I love that Talisman that gives me my HP back. And you can see that I already initiated more damage uh, during the finish kill. So definitely this thing gives a lot more uh, damage plus damage reduction. So it's actually very cool. I need to increase my FP a little bit more. Uh, because my FP currently is 71, and uh, if I make it 80, I can use uh, this skill twice before I need to use the Flusk, right? This one right here. So maybe that's going to be my next goal. Well, I think, I think w I'm going to skip the giant part, like testing this out on giants. Or, you know what, let's do it. Alright, so here's the giant. Let's smack him without the skill, see how much damage we're going to initiate. These guys is pretty tough. 184. 34. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god! Honestly, I've been killing these giants today for some time in order to get some of those runes in order to level up. And I can tell you, this skill it already gives a big, big, big difference, man. Oh my god. Woohoo! I love it, man! Whoa, dude, this is crazy. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna put my war cry on. That is insane. I am absolutely shocked, man. <laughs> Damn, this thing is cool. I freaking love it. And it also works for the entire team, so oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yo, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So, uh, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching. And uh, yeah, also, while recording this video, uh, Ukraine is in war at the moment, so if uh, you have the option to... Uh, support I'll have two links to uh, two funds that you can uh, provide some support anything helps so it's a military one and a humanitarian one so once again thank you for all the love and support and uh, once again hope you found this video useful so you all have a good one bye